What the heck is going on guys? Welcome to your 11th video and in this tutorial what I would like to do is I'm going to show you guys how to arrange all of those patterns into your final song or your final playlist and also if I have time this is probably going to happen in the next video but I'm going to show you guys how to ex include external sound effects or external sound bites in your file so let's go ahead and check it out by first opening the playlist and of course to do that we click this button up here and boom our playlist pops up now before I get adding all my patterns I want to show you guys that I actually created a few new patterns just because I was getting kinda sick of the same you know kinda melody over and over the first pattern I created is this wobble then, a, then this kick right here that's my second pattern then I made a hat and this fourth one is really simple it's just one kick on the very first beat Alright, so easy enough. So let me go ahead and add this wobble to the playlist first. So again, this is the wobble. Alright, so now how do we get this into the final song? Well, the easiest way is just to make sure it's selected from your playlist or step sequencer. And then there are a couple of different tools we can use to add it to the playlist, which, like I said, is your final song. The first one is this draw tool right here, and this is the pencil icon. Now, whenever you click on your playlist, it adds one measure. So we can add one right there, of course. Anywhere we click, it's going to add. And just like before, we can move it around or also right click it to get rid of it. So go ahead and add that. And of course, you want to move it around to make sure it's at the very beginning. But the reason that I don't like this is because typically you want to add multiple measures at once or multiple patterns at once so I want this to loop throughout my whole song so if I just drag that's not gonna work so that is why I like this tool I always prefer the paintbrush tool this one as you can see what I'm about to do if I click down on a track and I drag it then it's gonna allow me to loop that pattern and it paints it rather than having to click it a million times so now again make sure you move all the way to the left and just like the piano roll you can zoom in to make sure that you're moved exactly where you want it to be so now if we go ahead and switch to song mode right here we can go ahead and play the song alright sounding pretty freaking good but around the fifth measure right here that's where I want the kick to come in so you can either a switch to the kick right here and then you paint your kicks on or the uh, drop down menu I prefer is just this one right here this is basically saying what pattern do you want to paint now we already did the wobble on track one so let's go ahead and add that kick pattern to track two so I'm gonna change the kick and I'm gonna paint that on the fifth measure and also just drag that out and that looks pretty good so now let's go ahead and stop so we go to the beginning and also play it and this is our song and it keeps looping like that so now what I need to do is I want to add that hat now let me just go ahead and add it on the seventh measure so now again let's go ahead and see what we got in I also want to have this kick two ready because I want a good place to put that So I want one right there and the timing was a little off and I probably want one right here I'm feeling. Yeah. One right there. And one right there. Alright, so that is basically how you can use the paintbrush tool and also the draw tool to add multiple patterns to your playlist. Now remember, I prefer the paint tool, and uh, to be honest, there isn't that much to making a very basic song. You just select what pattern you want, and then you add it on whatever track you want. 
the only thing that I would recommend for beginners is don't put multiple even though you can do this technically don't put multiple patterns on the same track when you're starting out for example don't put um wobble on this track and then don't put the kick later on on the same track it can be kind of confusing um stick with one pattern per track for right now until you get a little more experience because if not it's just going to confuse you guys and in the next video what i'm going to show you guys how to do is something really sweet how to bring in an external song or an external sound clip and then we can either tweak it itself or dub over it to make like remixes and stuff like that so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video